Well, let's connect this into the present day. Um, and one thing that is um, a constant reoccurring theme is the reptilians or an extraterrestrial race interbreeding with humanity and creating particular bloodlines. And you've got an amazing um, ar artifact, I guess that's the word, a uh, necklace here, which I know is incredibly heavy, which um, has a very significant contribution to make to this theme of extraterrestrials or another race, not human, interbreeding with humanity. Now, first of all, wh where did this come from? So, we don't know. This necklace has been around for so long that we don't exactly know from which tribe it came. All I can tell you is that this necklace was in existence when the king who founded the Zulu nation, Zulu, was still a boy. It is described in ancient legends centering around this king. It is called Inweba Yezimfilo, the necklace of the mysteries. It is really a book which tells twelve different stories. And how old do you think it is? How old do you, how old do you know this book? I don't know, sir. All I do know is that... Hundreds of years old? Yes. Yes, very old. But it's not as old as the green face that I've just shown you. The Chitauli face is said to be over 7,000 years old. This thing. Now, this necklace enshrines several mysteries in it. Inside here are stones which are not from this earth. It is a very amazing story. There are three pebbles in here which stories say were brought to this earth by an alien baby which played with a human baby in the northern Transvaal. This... First of all, that, that looks so much as well. It obviously looks very much like a spacecraft. Yes. Yeah. This... This half molten object here used to be a serpent like necklace worn by a Mashona chief. He went to investigate something which had landed in the bush and which was killing his people. And he went with his battle axe to attack this object. And the object blew a jet of very terrible fire at the chief and he he became just smoke and this was all that was left of him. Now, this necklace enshrines one of the oldest and the greatest mysteries in our country. That the, the God beings which we call by the name Chidauri and which are called Zishwezi or Imanugela in the languages of other tribes throughout Africa. These gods came down to the earth in great uh, 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 vessels made out of gold and they united with female human beings to create a race of kings and queens on our earth. 